Hey everyone, it's Anna Montemurno. I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a really easy, delicious, healthy fish recipe. Today's recipe is called Mediterranean fish with a splash of Charlene and a splash of Anna because Charlene's a friend of mine who helped me kind of change it out a little bit with a couple of different ingredients, which would be, um, capers and um, I added some other ingredients to it but let's get into it in today's recipe we have about two tablespoons of avocado oil on the stove right now um, heating up and um, in that you want to get yourself about a cup of it's a little over a cup of chopped tomatoes fresh and I took the seeds out as much as I could and the liquid out too this is about a cup of chopped onion, and this was the sweet onion or the Vidalia onion, and about three tablespoons of chopped garlic, and also about a tablespoon of um, soaked capers. These, these capers came in um, sea salt and they were dry. I just sat them down on the counter and let them soak for five minutes in water and then rinsed them off. So let's get into it. So we're going to take our uh, onions and we're going to saute them over medium heat. Chop onion. And then into that we are going to put our beautiful garlic, which is about three tablespoons of chopped garlic, right into that. Wow, this thing smells wonderful already. And then I've got about four fresh basils I got from my herb garden. Put that in there too. We have it on medium heat and we just Give it a good turn, like the old Italians would say, give it a good turn. And let me get my fan going to keep us in good shape. I wouldn't want the uh, smoke detector to start howling, because that does happen here at my house, especially if I'm in the kitchen. And a lot of times I have five things going at once in the kitchen and we'll get more into that down the road but i figured i'd start it off very simple so we're, we're we have this mixture of garlic onions fresh basil and about two tablespoons of avocado oil and for most people that have seen the other videos i have I talk about avocado oil and how avocado oil, even though it's not as flavorful as olive oil, it has a higher burning point. So you can use it more than you would be able to use olive oil in different cooking recipes. So we're giving this some time to caramelize and that's doing nice. It's going well. And then in the end, we are going to put in our tomatoes. So here are our beautiful tomatoes, and those go in last. And that's about a little over, I would say about a cup and a quarter or so. And these, this is a, this was an actual large tomato that was from the garden that just was just perfect to use. And I, I don't like to waste food, so I figure why not use it in this recipe? And I also used the fish that I had on hand, which was in the freezer that I got from all these the other day that I did a video on that. Um, and it, in this recipe, we are going to be using um, flounder, 
And you can pretty much use any white fish for this, but actually the best way to do it is to use what you have and then figure it out accordingly. Uh, like if you had a thicker type fish, that would probably do better in the oven or in the air fryer. But because this is a thinner type fish, and it's a white fish, this is a flounder, I figured I would do it on the stove because it just makes better sense. So as this keeps going, we're going to get it nice. Give it a little more heat, get the heat up a little bit more. Give it a good turn. And then when it gets a little bit, when you have this going for a while, maybe three to five minutes, and it starts to get, um, it starts to get a little bit more caramelized and the tomatoes start to cook down I gave it a little more heat because then we're going to add our white wine or cooking sherry or whatever you want to call it and you probably use about two tablespoons of it I measure certain I measure some things but not all things and in the description down below I'll be sure to put the measurements in so you guys know. So if you decide you want to cook, you want to do this recipe, you'll have the exact measurements and you'll have a better idea of what you'd be doing. So you see how this is getting like a beautiful, it's cooking down and it's getting a really beautiful gloss to it. That means it's caramelizing. And what we're going to do now is add the little capers. That's about a tablespoon. Capers are really a really beautiful addition to uh, fish recipes, at least from where my parents are from, which is Altamura Bari, Puglia region of Italy, which is southern along the Adriatic Sea. Um, they have a lot of fishing industry there, and they're a big fishing community, so there's, of course, a lot of the recipes that I was brought up with have to do with fish because of that. And I'm a big fish eater. I really love it. So now that we got the capers in, we're going to take about two tablespoons of white cooking sherry, or white cooking wine. Matter of fact, why not measure it? Why not, right? One two. That way we're on point. So we're getting this going. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells fantastic. And give it another turn. So this basically is going to be the topping for the fish. Right? So we've got this going nice. And we're going to take now we're going to take our pan, get ready for the fish, and I'm going to put in about two to three tablespoons of avocado oil here. Get this going so we can get our fish organized. Okay, and so now what we have here is the avocado oil heating up and then what we're going to do is take our good old handy salt and pepper and um, I always love the crusher and pepper. We've got our salt and pepper. We've got our hot oil heating up the avocado oil about two to three tablespoons here in this pan and we have beautiful flounder fillets and um, 
we're getting ready. I'm going to salt and pepper the fish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place the fish fillets down. I hear the oil heating up nicely. Can you hear that? And then salt and pepper up the rest. And they're, now they're frying. I always like to use a timer because I don't like to burn things. And I've found over the years with cooking, the best thing to do is use a timer. So with this recipe here, um, pretty much this can be a keto meal. It could be a healthy fish meal for just about anyone, keto or not. Um, it's just overall a healthy dish between the avocado oil and the flounder and the, um, this is wild caught flounder, fresh tomatoes out of the garden, the onions, the garlic. Uh, it's really a nice, it's a nice recipe to have. And um, anyway, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So we're going to turn this Actually, what we could do is salt and pepper it. I did the other side, but not that side, the cooked side. Actually, you'll want to cook this according to your stove. Three minutes seems like it might be kind of long. Flip them over. You can see they're turning white. place the tops of my pants and I just do this, take a sheet of aluminum foil and put it right over the top right there. So we softened and peppered the fish. We did our beautiful, look at the beautiful topping for the fish. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And wait till you see it, wait till you taste it on the fish. That's the money maker on this video, the money maker. We'll give it two more minutes. You want to make sure it's cooked all the way. So look at our flounder. You, of course you want to make sure that it's white, that you know it's all the way cooked all the way through. So let's check this out. This reminds me of when my mom would fry fish because of the oil and the smell of the fish frying. It just kind of permeates the air. I'm having a memory. Mama, mama. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we are going to take the lid off. And then we, were, we are going to... Give it another seven seconds to cook or finish up. Then we're going to take it off the heat and we're going to let it rest for a minute. Now that we plated this delicious dish up, the taste test. I've got a little lemon there, a little bit of the fish, a little bit of the tomato topping with the capers. And the French Bulldog in the background waiting for it to drop to the floor. This is a really delicious recipe. It's got a lot of health benefits. Hopefully you'll check it out. Look for the details of the recipe ingredients in the description down below. Thank you for checking out my channel. Do your health. Over and out. Ciao for now. And I'll see you in the next video.